Hello my dear champions, how are you all? Okay, a big big welcome to all of your students who are preparing for your board's examination. Okay, this is a strategy video for your mathematics for your PU2 boards. Okay, so um, welcome to the platform of Diksha Karnataka where you are getting all the resources from our side. There's a new series coming for you from 18th November where we'll be solving all the questions chapter wise, important questions, okay, which will help you, which will assist you to score a very good marks in your boards, right? So uh, you you know I think you know about the series uh, the information has already been given to you so I know this is there be, there has been a little bit delay in the pro, in the series I have I've seen a lot of requests from the students in the live sessions also in the recorded sessions also sir we want the series to start as soon as possible I understand that there is a need for it so there, that's why the requirement are coming so uh, that's why the messages are coming from your side no problem we are coming again uh, as I said from 18th November your series will start okay chapter wise both for science and maths you'll get the sessions on our platform Diksha Karnataka okay so with that I hope you understood that point moving on so uh, what happened sir so so far uh, we have some time left three to four months we have left before our boards examinations you know gonna commence okay now um, what we have done so far you already have finished your midterm examination for PU boards yes for some people for some students the boards the midterm examination must have gone very very good so a big congratulations to you okay all the best keep studying the same way and score a very good marks in your boards as well now for some students who are struggling with the subject not just maths or something else okay struggling with the subject um, right now and they got uh, not that great result in PU uh, in the PU midterm examination don't worry about bacha do not get demotivated do not think little anything you know any even a single bit less of you okay keep working hard the thing is, bacha, what happens if I was a student right now writing my PU2 mid -exam, uh, midterm examination and I've got a lower score, I can think in two ways. First way is going to be, uh, sir, um, the subject scare me. I cannot overcome this. So I'll, you know, I just keep avoiding it today. So I'll keep it, you know, like I'll do it tomorrow. I'll start from next week. I'll start from December, I'll start from January like that. Okay, because I will focus on my strength right now. But what will happen, you know that ultimately you have to write the examination. Okay, if you keep difficult things a challenging thing for the last it will keep you know putting more and more pressure on you okay so try to start right away whatever is the most difficult thing not just mathematics let's say struggling in languages go ahead and do the languages first so whatever is the most challenging thing take it up and finish it I know you have the capabilities okay um, you can solve it you know if you start just the thing is you have to start okay and I know in the in the beginning things will be challenging you might not get everything you know like you might not everything will strike like that but if you work on it regularly consistently I am very sure that you're gonna get overcome that challenge and you'll feel better about that particular subject okay so if you are struggling if you were in the category of getting lower grades in the midterm examination please have the motivation okay have the dedication that you can do it just push yourself a little bit more whenever you think let's say you're studying for 40 minutes whenever you think okay I am frustrated now I can't give more time to this particular subject right at this point of time give 10 minutes extra just push yourself a little bit when you keep pushing yourself that 10 minutes extra no you will not you know you will not know in some time this 40 minutes will become two hours like that okay just you have to push yourself one bit at a time okay so uh, I am with you any queries any questions that you have please put, let us know uh, in the live sessions that we are uh, you know conducting or in the uh, these videos as well you can let us know in the comments any queries that you have we are here to help you right and I hope you know that I know that you know that okay so uh, today's session will be only focused on mathematics we'll talk about how to plan our work in the remaining amount of time so you already are preparing right why i'm here to channelize your preparation preparation to boost your preparation in the right way okay if you're having any doubts i will try to answer that from this, this session if you have any other additional doubt that i couldn't answer please let us know in the comment section okay so with that let me start the strategy session first thing coming up here bacha is what is our analysis of midterm this is very important everyone should know their mistakes okay if you have made any if you have not made any very very good okay I'm very proud of you if you have not made any mistakes in midterm and scored a very good marks okay I have covered uh, some chapters I've uh, tried to cover in some chapters in the crunch time that we had in the midterm series okay I know for some schools some uh, colleges PU colleges uh, the exam happened in so you know in the beginning only so they must have missed the sessions the video it, it got 
got late, it got delayed a little bit. But I have tried to complete uh, the most important chapters for the midterm series. Uh, I hope you have watched it. I hope this the video has benefited you as well. Okay. Now coming to analysis of the midterm series. Okay. Check here. First thing is after the marks that you got, you must have if you have if you could have seen your answer sheet. You must have you know got to know that okay sir i got less marks in this particular topic so i lost marks in matrix multiplication so whenever the question was coming in there i was messing it up by sign convention or something like that okay being a student i can feel the same way sir um, whenever i'm dealing with matrix multiplication i don't know how i know the rules but sometime i'll you know uh, lose concentration and lose the sign convention in the matrix multiplication i have given a detailed video in the midterm series i've given a video in your um, case series also you can find that particular series uh, matrix for matrix multiplication the playlist is there and learn it okay whatever is the problem how will you fix it by working on it right so analyze your midterm marks and understand the approach you should have for the next exam means what is the meaning of that for example let's say some students take mcq for granted Sir, uh, what will happen? Uh, sir, I will ask somebody in the examination. This, I know, student has this thing in their mind, but this will not work out but in your board examination. Okay, maybe in school, sometime you get to, you know, have two answers. Okay, but in exam, board exam, you have to be honest with your paper. Okay, so you cannot rely on anyone. You cannot think that, okay, this will click to me. Uh, since I've learned the entire chapter, I don't have to work on the MCQ. MCQs carries 15 marks, right, for your boards. So that's a big deal. Okay, so MCQs, uh, and do not think MCQs are easy. In the descriptive answer, if you write, let's say a question is given, if you write some steps, you get marks over there according to the marking scheme. But MCQ, if it is wrong, you're gonna get zero. Okay, so make sure that you work on MCQs, practice more and more MCQs. Okay, so um, when we start the series, we'll try to come up with the sessions where we'll only deal with MCQ. Okay, so uh, please try to whatever is a mistake. I've just taken one example where MCQs can be a you know uh, a weakness to someone. Okay, okay, it can be actually most of the time MCQs are strength to people, but uh, for me, I, it, it might be a weakness, okay? Just wanted to let you know. Uh, categorize the chapters according to the difficult, moderate, and easy chapters, okay? What's the meaning of that? It means, first of all, understand where you stand, what was your evaluation from your um, analysis from your uh, midterm examination, whether you were in category of strong, uh, moderate, and weak. If you were in strong category, do not let the intensity down. I'll tell you why this can happen. In the pre boards you know, in your examinations, that will, that will uh, commence from January, I think, or December, based upon your PU colleges. So, what will happen, Bacha? You might, you might, you know, get a little lower marks. So, you got a very good marks over here in midterm, but the marks reduced in that point of time. So, please do not let that happen. Keep the same intensity for all the topics, all the subjects. Okay. So, make the uh, keep that same intensity. People over here in moderate, moderate category means what? It means that you are good in subjects, but you need practice. Means you understand the concepts out of let's say 13 chapters which is there so in midterm i think you had seven eight, eight seven to eight chapters uh, for the midterm examination so out of the seven eight chapters that is there four chapters for five chapters you must be very good at okay but you've not practiced enough so that's why you lost marks there and two might be your weaknesses okay so that can you know again differ students to student okay i'm not generalizing it so uh, four to five to seven, uh, five out of seven chapters can be your strength so whichever is your strength identify your strength and since you lost marks, it means the chapter needs more practice. So please do that. Okay, please create the category according to that. Okay, and weakness means if let's say somebody has got very poor marks or have struggled a lot in the mathematics in the midterm examination, but you have to wake up. Okay, because how will you survive if you cannot do the seventh seven chapters in midterms? How will you survive if you don't if you do the same thing? If you keep doing the same thing till, uh, let's say you did the same thing till October or September, you got the result, okay? If you do this, continue with the same thing, okay, same way of life, how will you get better? If you want to, if you want to have a better result, you have to change your way of life, you have to change what you are putting in the process. So you have to change the process entirely, you have to dedicate, you have to take out everything else, okay? Whatever, you know, was keeping you away from the studies, Take them away from your life and bring the studies back in for the next four months to see the change in you. Okay, it will certainly change your position from weak to strong students category. Okay, how can you do that? Please take everything else outside from your life and give only keep only one priority studies. Okay, and be structured in your work. What happens is, uh, uh, you know, a student, let's say I am in this category. Okay, what I will do, I'll get motivated. No, sir, I have to work hard. But I will not be structured in my preparation. So I'll get lost in one day or two day or a week time or two week time. It will become you know, too much and then I'll leave it. 
because I will look I can't do it so just leave it so what you have to do here be structured in your preparation okay so let's say you are struggling a lot then start from a simpler topic break it down and then once you build your confidence go for a difficult topic spend more time there okay and then when I say difficult topic try to you know uh, choose according high weightage chapters if you choose that topic no it'll help you score marks okay so keep high weightage topic always in your mind so that you need to know your pattern of the examination okay so moving on this is the uh, marks category sort of 80 marks 64 plus will be the category of your you know um, high strong students like that it means where you lie in this uh, classification if you want to download this pdf okay of the session i hope you have already joined the channel but if you have not please make sure that you join the whatsapp channel the link is given in the, in the description and uh, you'll get this pdf over there okay Chari. moving on so now is we have 100 days breakdown let's see how will this pan out okay so the time that we have at hand okay so total chapters that we have in pu2 is what 13 chapters okay you'll see the chapter wise uh, analysis as well i've given a revision how you can do so that's my again my preference you can again choose a different thing so time left that we have is the remaining time in the november december january and february march beginning your exam will commence okay so again you have to uh, you have other priorities in february as well for example you have examinations practicals also you'll have in february okay so um, so you have to plan your work accordingly to that it's four month plan what you can do november remaining time you have to finish three chapters butcher okay you have to finish three chapters in november whatever time you have left now december try to finish six chapters okay big month you i know uh, there's only uh, there's a christmas uh, there's a new year's coming so give little less time to that obviously enjoy this with your family but don't go on a long break okay because what happens i know i understand people go on vacations in this time do not do that okay avoid that one day break few hours break is okay few hours fun with your friends or family is okay but you can't go on a long break in december because you have to finish six chapters the major chunk has to be finished in this time okay so three chapters six chapters and four chapters in january so what it's please see here six plus uh, three is nine plus four is 13 chapters and then revision and the pyq you can do again in january all right February will be for your practical examinations, mocks and revision. Mocks is very important. Do not skip it. Okay, when I was a student, you know, I didn't have this much of resource. So, I did skip mocks. And I'll tell you, I got a very poor marks in few subjects because I skipped it. Okay. Then I had to, um, you know, reevaluate what I should do. Then I... Um, changed my life about you know uh, where I was making you know weaknesses I my teachers helped me obviously so I'm letting you know please I know that even after telling even after I'm telling this thing if not 50 then at least 40 to 30 percent of students will skip the mocks do not skip the mocks okay mocks even if you're scoring less marks what you what you're actually doing is you're making yourself habitual with writing examination for that longer duration and writing dot solving all those questions at a, at a time because when you solve a chapter wise mocks what will happen you'll think about only one chapter but when you're solving all chapter mocks at one time you're thinking about all the chapter at once you're trying to recall you're putting your brain under pressure to recall all the concepts at the same time that's very important because that's going to happen in examination so make sure that you write mocks and and keep revising after mocks we'll see we'll talk about that we have a detailed plan about this what is the goal butcha goal is to score centum in mathematics okay why to score less have a big goal in your life okay and be scared about it means you should be emotional about your goal if you can't feel your goal no then there's no, there's no point you can talk about being anything but you're not emotional about it you're not worried about it you're not you know concerned about it you don't you're not motivated about it so be emotional about your goal okay so the goal is to score Centrum and above 95 percent in pu reason being because the thing is you think this is a big deal coming in your life you'll have bigger bigger goals and bigger bigger challenges okay so you have so the point is wherever you are right now you should take up any challenge that is coming to you which is positive which is gonna create a positive effect in your life take up the challenge and be motivated be you know you know pumped up to do that activity do that work okay so that is for goal okay so and anyway pu2 grades help you a lot okay i'll tell you what um, i had a friend in my college time he was very good in the you know activities he was superb in college he did everything you know properly academically not that good okay but uh, project wise he was very good okay but because of uh, his poor grades in pu few companies did not pick him up 
okay this very small example no, doesn't matter doesn't relate with you but if you are thinking okay sir i am in the category of weaker students right now i'm not able to i'm struggling in the mathematics or any particular subject uh, sir I, I i it's okay po2 how much change it will make in a, how much difference it will make in my life in my career it does makes a lot of difference so you have to not think like that you have to think in a positive way you have to aim for the best and i'm telling you in this time that you have left you can do that okay you can do it please make sure that you are motivated believe me trust me okay or anyone if you trust your parents trust them i'm telling you you can do it from here also you can score centum from here also okay just what happens whatever time let's say in the beginning of january if you have started preparation or maybe in in, in uh, april then you will have to study three four hours per day from here you have to study what eight to ten hours per day and that's okay okay your life is what is the, what is your goal right now you take a good food keep yourself healthy and study that's all rest all is taken care of by your parents right so right now your goal is only to study take care of your health and that's it so give a lot of time to your studies chaliye now maths action plan what can we do for pu to first of all to take up any challenge you should understand the challenge what is the challenge right now challenge is the exam pattern right you should know the exam you are writing examination you should know the pattern for example let's say i am any competitive exam aspirant i don't know whether it is negative marking or not then how would i you know prepare for that let's say i went for an exam where there is understanding that there's no negative marking and i i wrote all the answers what will happen i'll lose half of the marks you know where let's say i i got 30 right and 30 wrong what is my marks 30 right means let's say 30 marks so 30 marks and 30 wrong means let's say uh, 15 or maybe uh, point let's say half of the marks is rejected then what will happen i got 15 marks only okay so you should know the exam pattern so what is it understand the exam pattern and syllabus syllabus also you should know what are the deleted portions you should not work on that okay not spend time on it because you have less time already do not waste any time on the deleted portion so keep a latest ncert with you okay keep the latest textbook with you and follow that only okay resources resources will talk about that in detail as well where what you can refer from where you can refer okay calculus matrices and vectors so why you have put it here because if you see these three together this actually is your entire pu2 there are few more chapters but if you are good in calculus it means you are good in relations and functions anyway i did also you good in anyway okay probability is also there but these three are major units which requires lot of effort from your side okay so you have to be good in these three probability is a very good chapter you and there's a lot of questions coming in from the chapter but still please try to give calculus okay if you want you can add probability over here probability over here that's also very important chapter calculus plus probability okay so this i have not written chapters i have written units please understand these units are very very important okay now you should have a month wise plan we'll talk about that in detail as well revision strategy should also be known okay and it should be pre planned then next is mock test strategy okay we'll see all of that in the coming slides let's have a look now understanding the exam pattern how will the exam will be there for you the latest pattern that is given by uh, your boards part a we'll have two sections right as you know one will be uh, for mcq 15 questions will come you have to attempt all the 15 questions that will carry 15 marks okay next going on you'll have fill in the blanks five questions you have to attempt all of them so you'll get how much five marks over there okay so section a comes from here so section a is over section b we'll have two marker questions short answer type you'll have total of 11 questions given there you have to answer only six from there so it carries 12 marks okay now next is again short answer type questions uh, section c you'll have be you'll be having what three marker questions you have total of 11 questions given you have to answer only 6 again 18 marks over here okay short answer questions uh, in that part d you'll have what five marker short answer long answer you can see this okay so uh, five marker you have eight questions given total eight will be given you have to answer any four okay so make sure you pick the questions very wisely how to pick a question first of all if you are confident in that particular topic go for it okay what will happen no uh, i'll tell you what so let's say i'm good in matrices okay but what will happen if i see questions on matrix multiplication i'll skip that because i know it will take a lot of time so choose your questions very very wisely okay because you have eight questions been given over here it's going to be lengthy question because it's a five marker question it's going to be lengthy anyway okay so pick your questions very very wisely what happens at times in the exam you are under pressure you pick any question and when you come home you say okay i could have done the different question so give time understand this instead of wasting time let's say you pick a wrong question and you waste your time while solving that and i didn't get it right also so give time to pick the question also that's a very important strategy of your you know solving any question paper 
give time listen to me give time to pick the questions if you pick the right question no then you'll spend less time to do that question anyway okay so don't worry about the time constraint please spend time to pick the questions okay not like hours obviously you can give a minute to a two minute like that just read it carefully try to plan out the steps in your mind how to go about that question okay I have to do this let's say I have to do uh, I have a question given okay I have to find inverse in that matrix okay uh, it's a two cross two matrix I can find inverse very easily because adjoint will be easy to find okay so adjoint can be found uh, I can find determinant also very easy two cross two is there let's say three cross three okay I I think the numbers there there's a lot of not zero so if there's a let's say three cross three matrix given okay you have to find inverse how do you find inverse you have to find a joint and the determinant sir there's a lot of zeros present here I can find it okay zeros means I can consider one of the rows and that will just uh, have only you know because of zeros the rest part of will be cancelled I'll have only one number I can get that easily okay so think about like that think like that and get the result like that okay so uh, plan out the steps in your mind while choosing the questions and do it quickly okay just because don't solve it don't solve it take a question think about the steps that you have to do to get to reach the answer in your mind okay and then select that question okay I'm gonna do this out of it so one question is selected two is selected like that select the four questions okay very important to select the questions moving on party again two sections are there six mark and three mark okay six mark question will come only one so it's a four mark question actually forgive, uh, forgive me it's not three marks it's a four mark question it's a four mark question okay you'll have two questions given you have to pick any one again this will be internal options okay it will not be external it will be internal options or will be given here so question number let's say it is question number five so question number five will have five one five or okay so five or out of two internal options you have to pick any one and you'll get six marks over here over here you're gonna get four marks so four marker and six marker in section number e okay so i hope you understood the exam pattern now moving on to chapter wise weightage please have a look so you know you have how many chapters you have total of 13 chapters bacha. okay so over here relations and functions will have uh, how much 10 marks coming from it very easy chapter okay sometimes it gets trickier so solve the trickier questions okay keep yourself ready for that so solve some tricky questions so that you'll know how to think about those questions and when the exam uh, comes and you have the those questions in the examination not the one that you solved but you will know how to reach or approach that particular question so do not just solve and uh, uh, solve and read the concept based questions okay solve some tricky questions also we'll see when we are starting the series i'll try to put some more questions like that okay Shall ITF has how many how much it is seven marks okay uh, matrices important right ITF because it's going to be used in calculus also so ITF you have to know the graphs the everything in ITF it's very important okay seven mark is there but also in uh, very important in, in the case of what do you call uh, your uh, your calculus also again this is taken from your blueprint latest one okay so uh, matrices nine marks big deal okay determinant 13 I said no see this chunk is big deal 13 plus 9 is what 22 okay so continuity and differentiality 19 marks that's where the game changes AOD 8 marks integrals 20 marks okay how much is this 27 47 is already here okay so high weightage calculus is there AOI 5 marks differential equations again 9 marks so that's why I said if you look at the unit that I took it carries a lot of weightage over there okay vector vector and 3d if you see again 19 marks are coming from here linear programming seven mark question comes and probability is nine marker okay probability is again nine marker okay so please try to uh, know your weightage and when you are planning out if you don't have any preference if you don't have any preference from your midterm analysis let's say i personally don't have any preference i i got good marks in every subject then i will just focus on my high weightage first while starting my preparation right away but if i have let's say a weakness in particular chapter i was very struck i was struggling a lot in relation function i'll start from there only okay if you have a weakness or if you want to prioritize any chapter please do that otherwise follow the plan i'm gonna give you right now again if you want to download this pdf because this will be very very useful to you bacha, okay um, then what are you gonna do join the whatsapp channel and get your uh, link uh, the pdf of the session from there okay if you have not joined already if you have joined then you'll get that present over there next we'll talk about study resources we saw the plan we saw the uh, pattern we saw how the weightage is going to be next is what resources so resources means what first thing you know like a like you know the most important textbook that you have is ncrt all the questions will be based on this okay pattern is based on this steps will be coming from the solved examples so know the marking scheme okay know the marking scheme try to write all the answers let's say anyone any student a wants have all the concepts in, your, in his mind in her mind and can answer all the questions but missing out on steps let's say a person has answered all the questions correctly and got 70 marks 
Does it, is, it, is it fair to that person? Think about it. Not fair, sir. Because I got everything right. Still losing 10 marks. Because in the marking scheme, you get half a mark mark deducted there, one mark deducted there. Then, then you'll see that the teacher is not being fair. No, what is not, this is not a problem of teacher, but sure. teacher also gets, any teacher who is evaluating your paper, gets a certain marking scheme and he or she has to strict with that. Okay? Means if the strip is missing, he has to cancel the marks or cut the marks whether you know, he or she doesn't want to. Because, because, let's say I am evaluating your paper. I don't want to cut your marks, okay? Because it looks very right, but the marking scheme is missing. Those steps are missing. Then I have to, you know, cut out the marks over there. Okay? So make sure, uh, you know, uh, do not. Let's say teachers are having the blueprint or marking scheme to evaluate your paper. You should also also have the same thing to write your paper. Okay? So follow that. So if you don't have access to that, follow NCRT steps. That's more than enough. Examplars to solve more questions, but one more thing, in exemplar what happens? Some questions are from out of the topic. So decide, uh, so pick out those questions, uh, which is in the topics only, in the syllabus only. Do not do extra things in the exemplar, okay? Where can you get that? If you don't have access to the new books right now, I think in the website, NCRT has given the latest book. You can, or in the PU board uh, place, you can get this latest book in the online PDF versions available online. So, but know the syllabus, okay? You cannot do all the things. Short notes. Short notes will be made by yourself, okay? Means when you're revising, when you're preparing anything, keep a chapter-wise short notes with you. Means maintain a separate notebook for mathematics. This is going to be very, very important, sir. In one book, can we finish it? No, you can't finish one in one book. So, should I keep a very thick book? Don't keep a very thick book, okay? Maintain a simple 100, 150 or 200 page notebook, okay? That's more than enough. And what are you going to do? Yeah, there might be two or three uh, notebooks like that. Uh, when the preparation of your uh, revision, whole revision is done, you'll have three books. That's not a problem for mathematics. But keep it a separate book for maths and my, make your own short, note, short notes. Reason being, when you are coming for the final revision, you don't have to do all of this from the different, different textbook again. You can trust your instinct, you can trust, because what happens, no, when you're writing by yourself in the page, you're thinking something. So when you come back and read that line, you'll again try to recollect, you know, that same thing and it'll come to you. If not 100%, 60%, 70% will come back to what you were thinking at that point of time. So make sure that you make your own self short notes, okay? And brief notes you have to make, don't, don't make a very big notes. Whatever thing you find very important, yes, for that you can make a detailed note, okay? But try to stick to short notes so that you'll have less time to cover up before examination. For a final revision, what are you going to refer? Your own short notes only. And since it is mathematics, please have a formula sheet ready for you for all the chapters. Okay? Chapter-wise formula sheet you can make, okay? When you're doing the revision. Do not make in one day. Don't don't plan for Sunday, I'll keep, sir. On Sunday, I'll make all the all the short notes. No. Chapter-wise revision, revision you're doing. Chapter 1 I have done, I'll write all the short notes and formula in one place. Why that? Because when you're doing this, you will be able to relate the formulas with the concepts also. Okay? So do the chapter-wise. Uh, formula sheet. PYQs you have to finish, bachcha. Okay. Why that? Because we're whether to check whether you have exam ready or not. Okay. So you have to solve the PYQs. Okay. Try to take uh, the recent ones first, and then if you have time, do you know a past? Um, let's say you've done doing for the last seven eight years. If you have time, you can do more questions from the previous uh, uh, papers also. But see whether it is in the syllabus or not. Because few things are cut off, so make sure that you have that basis to uh, see the syllabus portions. I think you'll get uh, recent syllabus PYQs very uh, anything available on the different different publications to take any uh, uh, reputed publication and solve PYQs from there only. Okay. Blueprint and model test papers. Blueprint uh, have it for that you to know weightage and everything. I've discussed uh, over here also but if you want please have the blueprint available online for free. Okay. Model test papers you should have it after you finish all the chapters. Okay. Test papers can come in two ways, chapter wise also or all chapters at once. So have those categories. If you're prepared for all the chapters, write the model test papers and questions list. We'll talk about this in detail in the coming slide, but question list is very, very important. So as I said, you have to maintain a separate notebook okay for mathematics at the end of a chapter you have to maintain a question list we'll, we'll see what is it and how we'll be use it okay now questions list please have a look so what i was saying no let's say i finish a chapter uh, maybe a differentiation i finished a chapter differentiation okay or differential calculus we talk call it uh, so in the chapter i have made what short notes i've made i've written all the formulas I've solved a lot of questions. Actually, one more thing, create categories which are in the questions, okay? If you are, um, if you are uh, not getting those many questions in the NCRT for creating category, use some reference textbook, okay? Whichever is standard, whichever is ref uh, referred by your uh, faculties. If you have to need, check the lot, lot of standard reference textbook available for PU, use that. And create type of questions, so type A based on the formulas. 
टाइप बी एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द बेस ऑन द फॉर्मुलाज टाइप थ्री ग्राफिकल क्वेश्चन ओके इन कैलकुलस एम टॉकिंग अबाउट ओके सो टाइप वन टाइप टू टाइप थ्री लाइक दिस एंड क्रिएट दिस टाइप एंड बेस ऑफ ऑन दिस कैटेगरी वाइज यू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन Because when you come back for the revision again, you'll have these categories with you. It'll help you to, you know, feel confident that okay, sir, I've done all type of questions. So create type of question. Don't be, you know. Otherwise, let's say you solve 50 questions in differentiation. Will you be, you know, when you come back to revise the 50 questions, you'll be in, you know, chaos. But if you have tried it in type one, six questions you've done on the, let's say, uh, one type of formula. Okay, logarithmic function you've done five questions. Okay, exponential function you've done two questions, three questions like that. Okay. So different ITF you've done 15 questions. So create type, whichever suits for that particular chapter. Create type wise questions in your self-written short notes. Okay, that you're preparing in the revision text, uh, in the revision notebook for mathematics. It'll ha always help you uh, in your final revision. Okay. Now coming to questions list. You have to create this questions list. Okay. At the end of one chapter, let's say I finish differentiation. Last page I'll keep blank for any additional information. Then. the next page of the chapter after keeping the blank page i write a question list okay i will not have to write any solution over here bachcha no solution only question list okay first thing analyze the last five year question paper sir do i have to spend time again no bachcha you already did that in while you're doing pyqs when you're solving pyq you got analysis okay you got to know what questions you should uh, you you are uh, you want to do again okay so pick out those questions identify the most or repeated questions and note them and highlight them then note down other questions asked in the examination okay so you have to write this in the page after the ending of the chapter let's say question number 1 Question number one on differentiation. What was asked from the PYQ section? You can write. Okay, so don't write question one PYQ. Write the question actually. So it's like a making a question paper on your own. Whether you find MCQ was good, then write the MCQ. Write the options also. Okay, so write it like this. So you write it like at least you write up to ten to fifteen questions. You can write here. Let's say a chapter has only five six good questions. Write five six good questions. But write at least at least minimum of ten questions as question list. Again, you have already solved these questions. How, sir? When you were preparing for a chapter, okay, you you solve the MCQs uh, and sorry, you solve the PYQs, right? I told you already that. But make this as well. After solving it, also, if you, let's say you got it, but you feel it's a good question, you might forget it later. Write the question over here. Write the particular question over here. Again, no answers. Don't write any answers. No answers. Reason being, when you come back for the revision, you'll have you don't have to again go back and search out for the questions. Are in that particular chapter? Where was this particular question? Okay, I know there was a good question, but I forgot. Now you're looking for the entire book and wasting your time. But now you have the question list with you, ready at the end of the uh, chapter. So you can just come back, read the type one, type two questions like a solved example, and solve this exercise question. So your type one, type two category questions will become your solved example, and this will become your exercise. Okay, this will boost your revision, bacha. This will certainly boost you and help you. I know you are feeling the same thing. What I'm saying, but please do it. Do not avoid it. Do not skip it. Okay. So and write repeated questions because repeated question is what. So will this question come again? I'm not saying the question will come again. I'm saying the pattern will repeat. The pattern of the question will repeat. That's what is important. Okay. So that's why please have the repeated questions also written here. Let's say, sir, they're always asking the adjoint to the matrix. So write that there. Okay. So they're asking the questions on the properties of adjoint to the matrix. Write that there. Okay. So whatever it is there, please write that repeated questions, not the topics, the questions over here. I'm saying that your solved questions in the uh, textbook, revision textbook, sorry, notebook, will become your solved examples, and this will become your exercise. Treat them like this when you're coming back for your final revision. Okay. It'll evaluate. It will create a efficiency up to very high extent. Okay. And your revision will be very, very, you know, you'll be satisfied with the revision. Means when you come for the final revision, after doing all of this, you'll become. You will be very satisfied with the revision, and you feel confident, bachcha. Okay. So I hope you understood the questions list. Moving on, your month-wise plan for November, December, and January. Okay. So please have a look. This is again I have given on the preference order of weightage. If you have any other preference, please choose that. Reason you might have, sir, I was weak in this topic when my midterms or other any other topic that is any other reason. So school is going to ask these questions on this. So if you have a preference. You can choose that, but this is a general preference given on the term, on the um, basis of weightage in the examination. If you don't have any preference, please stick to it. This will help you a lot. Please stick to this. Okay. So let's say November that was time that we have left, starting from 18th November. Continuity and difficulty you can cover up first till 24th. 25th November to 22nd December you can do AOD, application of derivative and integrals. 
week three of your preparation can go to integrals i have given see integrals lot of time because it is going to require a lot of time to solve the questions okay and there's a big exercise chapter also and a lot of weightage 20 marks just for integrals okay 19 from here 20 from here okay and i think some um, 9 to 8 marks was from aod so please check okay 19 plus yeah please check 7 8 marks was there from aod okay so and then uh, week 4 um, what is it going to be give it to aoi from 8 december to 14 december and differential equations application of integrals and differential equations aoi is a small chapter differential equation might take little time so please use that over here okay for the week number four of your preparation okay this is not week number four for november bacha. this is week number four for your preparation okay so from 8 december to 14 december moving on from here okay so december we are continuing over here 15 december to 21st december what you can do butcher vector algebra and linear programming vector algebra and uh, lp i think you can finish in this seven days okay and vector in week number six of your preparation you can do what 3d geometry week number seven you can do what probability and relation and functions probability is a little bigger in pu2 okay you might little uh, take some time to do all the theorems and do the questions on them but relation and function is a small chapter you can finish it in this seventh week of your preparation week number eight you can do itf and matrices okay and week, week number nine you can do what determinant okay i've given only three to four days for determinant that's more than enough okay this is so means by 15th jan more you know more or less before that also it can happen if you are you know dedicated and giving more time to your studies uh, then uh, by then you will have your preparation of all the chapters complete okay so i hope you can see this if you want this pdf this is a very important slide one of the most important slide this is i would say if you want this pdf i hope you have joined the whatsapp channel and get this pdf okay description uh, if you find uh, you'll find the link for the whatsapp channel in the description box okay very important have it okay do not do not skip it just watching the video is not enough have the slide with you because sometimes uh, things might not be visible all the time okay a lot of information are given so it's good to have the pdf of the session now month wise plan for january and march Revision, revision, revision. Simple thing, revision and mocks. Re January onwards, you should have only revision and mocks. Okay. So revise by solving maximum number of questions. Since you have already done the concepts revision, do not spend again a lot of time on the concepts only. Because questions has to be practiced. So do solve a lot of questions. If you feel confident in a chapter, solve a lot of questions in that. If you are you know getting you know stuck in that particular thing, mark that question, come back and read the uh, concepts again to so solve those questions again okay so uh, revise by solving maximum number of questions from sample papers and pyqs okay it's not p okay pyqs all right butcha. so uh, next write down the answers in points try to write the answers in the points means basically all the steps you should write underline the important terms okay in the answers and mark the questions this i already explained if you got stuck in a question mark it mark this question and come back go to uh, go and read the concepts from where textbook no need okay if you have written a very good note short notes then you can just revise the question question that directly from the concept directly from the your short notes and come back and solve the questions again reattempt the question very important do not leave it it's a process got stuck revise the concept from the short notes if the short notes is not very good go and revise from the ncrt and come back and reattempt the question do not leave the means for example what happens no i'm a student i'll just i got stuck in a question okay i'll go back i see the concept i'll leave it okay sir i understood i don't want to stay, spend time to solve that question don't do that okay revising the concept then you have to reattempt the question again okay so please do that the revision strategy bacha. what to do how to do the revision first thing i've taken only calculus here but it's not about the calculus it's about any high weighted chapter okay any high weighted chapter how to know that sir i've given the list of it you'll have the pdf you'll know what is the high weighted chapter if not find the blueprint and get the high weighted chapter from there so all the high weighted chapters should be revised daily when i mean daily means just have a look for example think about it so uh, if you revise if you've done the chapter today it'll take more time to revise today then it'll take less time to revise tomorrow because you already done today revision five minutes let's say i took 30 minutes to revise today the same chapter i'm doing integration i did it for three hours and then i revised for 30 minutes tomorrow i'm not gonna do integration but i'll revise for what let's say 25 minutes in a week time will become about 10 15 minutes okay means i'll need only 10 minutes to revise integration okay so if you are doing the revision every day the revision time will reduce so please do the revision of the high weightage topics every day because what will happen, let's say you've done continuity and differentiability in the beginning only. Then by the end of the revision, you might forget some things. Okay. So please revise every day those topics. Spend some time for that. Okay. Because high weightage means more marks from there. So you have to spend time 
in that particular topic. Challenging problems from differential and integral calculus. This will help you if you create type problems. Type if you want to create type advanced. Okay, right here type advanced. In that particular topic, you keep only difficult questions and keep solving them again and again. So, challenging problems, whatever is there, keep a note of it in your uh, revision text notebook and keep solving those questions again and again. Okay, revise using short notes only. Why that, sir? Because this will you know minimize the time to revise. Otherwise, you have to open that notebook, you will get distracted, something will happen, uh, you know, uh, you will use multiple notebook, textbooks, so better to do that, make a proper short notes and revise from there only in the final revision strategy, okay, and formula sheet has to be there, I told you this, redo the questions from the questions list, I told you this, the questions list that you, you made, do the questions again, I told you, treat the solved questions in the type category as solved examples and questions list as exercise, so please redo them again. Okay, now mock test strategy, give chapter wise test first. Let's say I finish chapters for continuity and differentiality. I'm gonna give mocks on only that particular chapter. Okay, till this summer you can do that. Solve 10 to 15 and keep a day fixed. Okay, means let's say I want to do it on Wednesday, sir. So only on Wednesday I'll do a mock test. So right now I want to do only on one chapter, so I'll do only on one chapter. I've done three chapters, I'll do on three chapters. Okay, so please do and write the mock test on. Uh, weekly only one day you fix for mathematics mock test let's say you want to fix goodness day sunday anything you want just fix your day and do mock test on that particular day okay solve 10 to 15 model test papers for all the chapters write in exam conditions means let's say um, exam is for two hours three hours so write try to solve the paper in three hours sit at one place and solve it once don't do half right now half one hour later don't do that sit at one place don't use phones don't use calculators and write with the pen that is you're supposed to use in the examination the papers similar paper you can use very good try to use that in your mocks examinations so write in the exam condition evaluate and analyze the weak areas and work on them so after writing uh, the, um, this mock test papers or model test papers evaluate them check the answers check the solutions and then know what is the weakness and work on them okay work on them actually moving on mistakes you should avoid in writing the paper spending too much time so means let's say when you're revising your topics list weightage chapters are there okay let's say you are doing only vectors how much marks seven marks ten marks is coming so don't spend a lot of time in this weighted chapter and don't give less time on high weighted chapter that's logical right high weightage means give more time to that not having enough writing practice so don't do all the practice in your mind you have to write, practice because this will help you build your steps, okay, uh, it will help you, you know, be confident in the particular topic, so please write the steps while you are practicing, okay, not practicing previous year questions, don't miss out on PYQs, PYQs is a mandatory, so please do the PYQs, keeping things for the last moment, when you think, I told you know, when you think to that I'll do this in January sir, I'll do this in February sir, or I'll do this in December sir, what happened, bacha? so I know the things can be, I, I know that you can do this in January or December, but problem is psychologically what will happen that thing will create burden on you so if it is a difficult thing or challenging thing do it first no finish it first so that at the last minute you'll feel free you'll feel confident that okay i've already done these things so uh, you'll have a built up confidence that will help you to do better than you actually thought that you can do okay so please do the things if you want uh, something is challenging you finish it first okay Moving on, now Diksha Karnataka Pust series will start, as I said, from 18th November you'll have this thing, okay, now have a look, so entire syllabus coverage will be done, okay, for PU2 portions, question form will be taken, okay, means the coverage will be done, so you'll have like the midterm series, you'll have the questions, category wise will be created, and then you'll have questions, from the questions only you'll cover all the concepts, okay, this will be covered in our series in our platform Diksha Karnataka okay just for PU series I'm talking about start from 18th November we will solve all the PYQs obviously okay and solving model test papers by PU board so whatever PU board is going to give a question paper we will solve that chapter wise subject wise okay not chapter wise like subject wise we will solve it there's no chapter wise PU papers solving sample papers we will try to solve sample papers to help you to help you how to solve sample papers all of that will be there any additional help that you need from us let us know in the comment section okay all possible MCQs from the NCRT we will solve all these possible MCQs we will try to create one and solve it if not we'll try to keep a session only for mcqs at the end maybe or may, maybe in, in the mid whenever you have a requirement for like that please let us know in the comment section okay i will give emphasis on the mcqs because i know students struggles in the mcqs okay Shale. so i think this is it this is all the information you should i think um, 
be able to it should be clear by now what should be done i have tried to cover up everything in the math strategy so i think this will be helpful i find that i know that this will be helpful to you okay again this is just to help you help you what with you're already preparing for your examination this is just to boost your preparation to get you in the right way and be focused and be structured in your work okay so i hope this was helpful but keep working hard keep positivity around you i'll see you in the next session till then take care and bye bye